हेलो माय डियर चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू यू टुडे इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास ऑन मधु आफ डियर चिल्ड्रेन इन योर लास्ट क्लास वी ऑल हैव डिस्कसड अबाउट अक्जुलरीज लेट्स रिकॉल व्हाट वी हैव टॉट इन द लास्ट क्लास चिल्ड्रेन वी ऑल हैव स्टडीड अबाउट व्हाट इज अक्जुलरीज What are the types of auxiliaries? Means primary auxiliaries and modal auxiliaries. Again, we have studied about primary auxiliaries. Or what are the primary auxiliary verbs? Again, we completely know about modal auxiliaries. Then we studied about concept of primary and modal auxiliaries. Means auxiliary verbs. So today we shall discuss about the modal auxiliary verbs. The first verb is shall. Let's know about shall. We can use shall in different meanings, such as first one is in plain future, with the subject I and a we. Let's have an example. We shall hold a meeting here. Again, I shall go to school today. This is the example of a use of shall modal verb. Next, permission. We can use shall modal in the sense of a permission. Example: Shall we go home now? This is the right example. Then, promise. Dear children, we have to know about the use of shall in the sense of a promise. Example: I shall give you a dictionary. Again, I shall take you out on Monday. This is the example of promise in the sense of a modal shall. Okay, children. Let's know about the other use of a modal shall. Shall can be used in the meaning of a prediction. Example: I shall be a doctor. Then we can use shall for giving an order. Example: Nobody shall live without my permission. Next example: You shall write this answer before you go. Dear children, we shall know more things about the use of shall modal. When the modal shall will be used with another subject except I or we, that means threat, order, or compulsion. Dear children, let's know the use of uh, modal will. Will can be used in the meaning of a plain future. What is the example? The example is the school will open tomorrow. Again, will can be used in the meaning of willingness. I will help you. This is the example. Then will can be used making a request or giving an order example will you do me a favor this sentence has written in the meaning of request then will you shut up this sentence means order okay children let's know other uses of modal will will can be used in the meaning of prediction example it will rain tomorrow then that will be the postman this is the example of prediction again will will be used in the meaning of permission with the subject i or we example i will give you a watch then children we have to know general fact will can be used in the meaning of general fact what is the example oil will float on water then will will be used in the meaning of determination with the subject i or we okay children example i will help you in all circumstances next will can be used in the meaning of present habit example father will go to his office at 10 am okay dear children let's know 
the use of a moral should should can be used in different meanings such as to give advice or opinion example you should get up early in the morning next to express wish with i and we example i should like to be a doctor next use to talk about a probability the cattle should be grazing now these are the uses of moral should again we have to know well to express a duty or a necessity what is the example the example is you should take care of your children then dear children we have to discuss about the use of modal would would also can be used in different meanings such as past habit example he would work all through the night in his youth then would can be used in the meaning of request such as would you do me a favor this is the meaning of request would also used in the meaning of probability or possibility example father would be at home now okay children other uses of would modal polite suggestion or invitation dear children the example is would you like to watch tv then willingness would can be used in the meaning of willingness the example is i would do, do that for you then would can be used in the meaning of refusal okay children the example is he would not accept my invitation dear children let's discuss about the use of modal may we can use may modal in the different senses such as to give or seek permission to give permission may be a positive sentence and may can be used in this sentence the example is you may come in now when we seek permission an interrogative sentence will be created like may i come in sir dear students you always ask your teachers and headmasters may i come in sir may i go out sir like this then we shall discuss about factual possibility in this sense may verb can be used example mandar may be in the kitchen mother may be in the kitchen this is the right example dear children when be can be used after may verb or any modal verb this means certainty or probability again expression of wish when we wish another person how we can use may let's know may god bless you may you live long these are the examples of wish dear children we can use an exclamation mark instead of full stops let's know about the use of might modal verb first might modal verb can be used in the sense of suggest a very remote possibility dear children let's have an example what you say might be true this is the example of remote possibility again past purpose we can use might modal in the sense of past purpose example he died that others might live this is the right example dear children let's discuss about more things of the modal will
Dear children, you all have known that will model can be used with second or third person. When it is used with first person, it means certainty or promise. Let's have an example. I will help you means I must help you. This is certainty. Another example of promise. I will give you a watch. This is the use of promise for the modal will. Okay, children. Dear children, today we have discussed about the modals will would, shall should and may might. Okay, children. Let's discuss some questions regarding the use of these modals. Fill in the blanks using suitable modals. A. You does not use my bicycle again. Right answer. The answer is shall. Next question. Rita does be 13 next week. Right answer. The answer is will. He does be at home now. Tell me children. Okay, right answer. The answer is would. Again, you dash wash your hands before you eat. Right answer. The answer is should. Next question. Dash I come in, sir? It is a general question. You all have known about it. Yes, right answer. The answer is may. Next question. What you say does be true? Tell me, dear children. Okay, right answer. The answer is might. Let's discuss about what meaning do the modals express in the following sentences. First sentence. Shall I go home now? Tell me, children. Yes, correct answer. The answer is permission. Question number two. Will you do me a favor? Tell me, children. Right answer. The answer is request. Question number three. It might be true. Tell me. Right answer. Remote possibility. Question number four. She would be at home now. Tell me dear children. Okay, correct answer. It is probability. Dear children, have you understood the use of modals such as will, would, shall, should, may and might? Okay children, thank you. Bye bye.